Happy New Year. Um, it's Martin Luther King Day. Beautiful 50 degree day here in Colorado. Thought I'd come out um, to this is uh, 80th Avenue open space. And this is particularly the Pelican Ponds part of it. The uh, Adams County has done a lot, a lot, a lot of reconditioning of this. It's really looking cool. Um, if you recall, I did a video. It's one of my first videos. I was out here, way on the other side. I rode my bike up by the river. I'm looking for the Wolpert Mansion, which is supposedly has a lot of history. It's haunted. This area is haunted, and I think um, I was looking for it last time. According to Google Maps, they had it pinpointed, but it's not really where the mansion was. But I think on historic aerials, I have a little bit better idea. Um, of where it was, they actually ended up tearing it down in the 90s. But I do believe it's out in this area right over here. So I've got the uh, Bounty Hunter Land Ranger Pro running in disc four. So uh, wish me luck. I'm gonna start swinging. So we got our first target here. It's ringing up. It's a dime, corner to corner. I th think it's probably gonna be some aluminum, but yep. here we go. Just a piece of hunk of um, junk metal. Well, got another target here, but this is going to be some tough digging today. The, the ground's still kind of frozen here and there, especially on the shady side of this tree. I don't think I can get down there. And target number two, another piece of scrap metal. So if, if what I've seen on historic aerials, I think the house might be right in this clearing here and there's pictures of it years ago by trees and Rivendale Road is right there so I think I'm gonna start swinging in this area right here we'll see what happens well swing up as a solid dime but you can see what it is good old can well that's an interesting one look at that piece of pipe that's heavy I'm just going after about any signal here because you don't know there might be some artifacts from the Old West right here that's where this house goes back to the late 1800s well no idea what that is it's almost like it could be a license plate frame. I bet you that's what it is. There's something interesting in the crotch of this tree. Steering wheel from a tractor or something? Funny, I'm not, not going to take it. Piece of uh, metal. Wire of some sort I found in this little area. No idea what it's for. Old. Looks old. I don't know, it's got a hex top though. It says it's right here. But I can't get much further down with this knife. The ground is just too hard. The detector says it's three, four inches down. It's pretty much where I'm at. But I can't get in there. It's been doing that for like 10 minutes now. Oh well. It looks like this might be a little trash dump or something here. Getting signals all through here. <laughs> Problem is the ground it can only get a couple inches in. It's kind of frozen. We'll give it a shot. Yeah, unfortunately, look at this. Ah. <laughs> oh well, it is winter. 
come back and check it out another time. Yeah, something was definitely right in here. There's just all sorts of trashy signals. Fifty cent piece, which probably was an old can, but I was bound and determined to at least get down. And there it is. Definitely looks like a can. Let's see what it is. Yep, just some old aluminum junk. Oh well, I had to see something from all these hits in this junk area, but pretty much thought that would be it. Yep, and another one rang up as a quarter, and this one was relatively shallow, so only said a couple inches, but there it is. The champagne of beers. This is the uh, first trip with my new bag. Get your water bottle. your pin pointer. Plenty of room inside. Nice pockets. There's all the junk I've gotten. Some compartments for your shovel. Plenty of room for battery compartment. All that kind of stuff. Really liking it so far. Attaches via the belt. Now this is interesting. This is some tar paper like you'd find on old barn buildings and stuff which probably leads me to believe this is sort of the right area they did have room for cattle and hogs and stuff too well it's another solid 10 66 68 probably another old can yep. but Another one of them Millers. Well, well. For a bed or a chair. Dollar range, which usually means it's some sort of, probably some sort of alloy. But. Top of some drink cup. To scrape the bottom off and it says color craft indianapolis indiana interesting well yeah that's probably the find of the day cool i'll have to look that company up Okay, so look it up, Color Craft. It says vintage aluminum metal tumblers, mid-century. Color Craft products. Set of 1950s anodized aluminum drinking tumblers made by Color Craft, signed on the bottom. Well, that's cool. Definitely seems harder than a can though. Bring up kind of as a quarter. See what happens. This might be too big to get out of here. Listen. It's all around. Badge over here. Probably just a big chunk of metal, but I'm the guy that got it going this far. Pry it up a little bit here. Success. That's probably the biggest thing I ever dug up. <laughs> Part of some farm machinery. Wow. Neat. I'm going to call her quits after digging up this and this super cool old vintage tumbler. Um, pretty much what I expected though. Lots of cans, pieces of junk metal, 
Definitely need to come back out here. There's plenty more territory, but um, that's pretty cool. Colorcraft Indianapolis. So we'll see, do some more research. That bolt was kind of neat. Looks old, but uh, pretty good hunt. Forgot about this. Piece of piping found up there. So, probably part of the original structure. 